Coach Kane. Yeah, Kevin, how do you guys approach improving on tackling in season when I assume you're probably trying to limit contact to some extent in practice? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously we gotta we have to stay healthy and safe, but at the same time, you still got football is football. You got to play football. You got to try to tackle as much as you possibly can. Uh, we emphasize, like, every rep is a tackling rep, whether it's your angle to the ball, your, 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 your in, uh, point of entry, you know, how you stop the ball carrier. You know, I, I think always... We, we emphasize everything in practice as this has got to be as game-like as, as, as possible without going to the ground, right? So, you know, practice habits become game-day reality a, a lot of times. And so if you see guys missing practice tackles, then sure, that sure shows up. So I think this, the more emphasis we've been, like, we, like every week we have, you know, tackle circus, tackle drills, they're in you, you know, so it's just got to show up on game day. And we just got to continue to pre press, like, hey, listen, like, where's, where's your help? Where's your leverage? Uh, what's your angle? What's your body position? Where's your where's your your weight distribution? Everything needs to be emphasized over and over and over uh, and, until until it clicks, you know. And, you know, I think you know there's a great open field tackle by Dylan. Dylan takes everything to heart uh, when they ran a jet sweep on us, and he came with a great angle. It was like a quick three yard gain on a jet sweep, and you see improvement from guys like that, you know. So we just got to get everybody to keep improving at that pace. We talked to you. I think it was coming out of maybe the Notre Dame game, and you and Ryan were both kind of talking about. Maybe guys weren't in the position they needed to be, making some schematic changes. What are you seeing right now as, as being the issues on defense? Uh, you know, I think as we, as we come through, I think you, you see improvements, but we still need to have more improvement, right? Like I think uh, from a schematic issue, every week we've got somebody, the gelling of the unit together. You know, every week there's new people in, in different spots because of injuries and so on and so forth. So the idea of, of gelling together, we got to get that unity, that bond together, I think is part of it. And then just you know simplifying things to help those guys make plays. You know I think if you go into a game with with new fresh bodies in there, that that you know you don't have to complicate things for those guys. So I think as as, as coaches we got to simplify things a little bit to allow those guys with the new newer faces to feel comfortable and to play fast, um, and just continue to, to to keep repping and beating with these guys to get them comfortable in things. How would you assess Hudson Miller how he's playing right now and what he sort of brings to this mix now at linebacker? Yeah, I know Hudson Miller is a guy that. You know, from ever since I've gotten here, Hudson has, has I mean, he's going to outwork anybody he can, you know. So Hudson is a guy that he knows every position in the, in the linebacker room. Uh, he has great effort every day. Um, you know, he's a guy that he's not going to screw up when he's in there, you know, and he plays hard and, 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 and you know, whatever physical limits he may have, he's going to work his tail off to get what he needs to get done. So you think... Like with, with him being out there, what he's able to do, uh, I, you know, you, you trust him out there. You, you know he's going to get lined up right. He's going to get uh, give everything he's got, and and you know he's that. That's the reason why he's out there. You know, so we gotta we gotta continue to build upon it. We gotta build the build the room. You know, obviously we have certain injuries in certain spots. That that's 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 part of the reason. But you know, I trust Hudson out there. You know, he's he's done a great great job. Oregon's obviously got talented offense. Just um, what kind of challenges can they pose for you guys? Oh yeah, man. They're they're a very talented team. You know, they're number two in the country for a reason. You know, so you know it starts uh, with their quarterback. The guy's got great uh, moxie about him. You know, he's got a certain way where he carries himself and he delivers the ball to where he needs to and to his player makers. And and then you got your the, the tailbacks are, are a room where they're they're, they're fast and they're physical. Uh, you know, their tight ends are guys that you know, they target those guys a lot. Uh, and the number three and and then you got their, their skill guys on the wide out, outside. Where you know they got speed and, and they utilize those guys all over the field, different formations. They put number fifteen all over the field, you know. So, and then up front they do it. They're, they're athletic and they're physical, you know. So I think all in all, you know, you, like like when you think of an Oregon team, this is about what you would expect, right? They're they're a solid team, and and uh, you know, but they, you know, every every team has has problems and concerns, and and so we have to be able to attack those problems and concerns when we feel necessary. So I think it's a it's a great challenge we have in front of us. Kevin, I mean, not to oversimplify things, but, but is there just one main culprit that's really been at the heart of, of the defense having some issues? Uh, you know, if I go back and say, all right, what do we got to do? We got to get the ball down. You know, we have opportunities to make make plays and and, 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 and get them down for negative gains and then turns into gains of 20, you know? So, like, if we have guys there to tackle somebody, we got to get them down. So, I think our, our tackling is, is, is always going to be something we stress and emphasize, but we got to be able to do it more. And then... Like I said, I think the unity, just continue to build the unity within the unit where they feel comfortable, where everybody trusts each other to know what's going on, you know. So just keep practicing, keep getting better. And, you know, I think the resolve of these guys right now, the energy is high with them. You know, they, they, they still, 
like to, to their credit right, right right now they're they're playing with the with enthusiasm and emotion which is which is a great thing you know so we just got to continue to build upon that you know five sacks i think last week and kg had a big game and the defense scored a touchdown just sort of talking about jenny it's a particular that a real strong game yeah kj kj's kj's kj man and he's kj is a guy that you know instinctively he's a great football player but now he's he's taken his game to, to my opinion kj has taken his game to another level you know he's learned a new position uh he's been able to from game one to game six you've seen his, his improvement at that position at middle linebacker you know and and he's able to, to sift through blocks and make plays in the backfield. And you saw him shoot gaps against uh, Illinois making TFLs. And then you see him on the edge holding point, rushing the passer, you know. And, 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 and KJ has become one of the great leaders of our, not just our defense, but our team, you know. And, 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 and like, I, like I, I'm lucky to have and be around KJ because the kid loves football. You know, he, it's a breath of fresh air uh, when you get to sit in a meeting with KJ and just how, how he loves to, to watch football, talk football, and play football, you know. And, and it's infectious for everybody, you know, and we got to get more guys to like him on, like, you know, in the future, you know, because we got to, like, if you got guys like KJ on your roster, you got a chance every week, you know, and and uh, that's our goal is just to find more guys like him. And and, and, and there, he's a joy to coach. He's a joy to, to watch. And, and you just see what he can do, you know. He, he had some sacks, he had however many sacks he had. And, you know, the, he's, playing his, he's playing his tail off right now, which is fun. Coach, you look at the the sort of the outside. Um, you know, you mentioned some of the some of the good things that you that you're doing. What do you feel like are those things right now? And then just the 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 simple additions with within the tackling to finally make it all make it all click together. It seems like you know this game's this defense has kind of come down to a game of inches almost. Yeah, it's a, football, right? It's a game of inches, right? So. So whatever we can do to help those inches be shorter and shorter and shorter, that's what we got to be able to do. You know, whether it's a whether it's a scheme deal, we got to make sure our, our alignment issue, or if a personnel, whoever's lined up in the right spot. You know, I think I think our guys have energy. They're they're, 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 they're you can see like when they're out in the field before they take the field, they're jumping around, they're having fun. You know, and and, and now that that confidence and, and swagger's got to carry over to every snap. You know, and, uh, and I think like after last week, you know. Like they were, they were shot. They, were, they never flinched. You know, as as as, as you know, good or, or bad as we played at times, it was like those guys got out on the field and they got out and they had energy. You know, they played hard and they did what they needed to do. And and that's what we got to continue to grow on. You know, and and uh, you know, as we as we move forward on this one, we got a great challenge this week. Uh, the energy cannot die. Right? It's got to continue to be there no matter what what happens. If it's zero zero, if it's 20, 20 to twenty, it doesn't matter what the score is. Like we got to go out there and do our jobs. More questions for Coach Kane? All right. Thank you.